All right, let's take you to the South Bay now where a grieving family believes they have been robbed of a sacred space used to remember their lost loved one. Back in August, Manuel Huizar was killed while on the job working at his Safeway in Willow Glen. His family had set up a memorial to remember him in that spot until the city stepped in. ABC 7 News reporter Lauren Martinez has tonight's story you'll see only on 7. Ten months after a Safeway worker's death, his family feels a loss again. Shock, sad, and the first thing I thought it was my mom, because I know my mom was going to be hurt broken again. Last summer, 24-year-old Manny Huizar was working at the Safeway on Hamilton Avenue in San Jose when he was shot during an early morning robbery. Friends and co-workers started a memorial outside his workplace, which became a sacred gathering place for his family. They transformed and decorated the memorial for his birthday, Dia de los Muertos, and other holidays. He was a big red fan. They playing Christmas Day. Me and my brother, we watched the game outside Safeway. After receiving a complaint, the city of San Jose's Department of Transportation cleaned and removed the memorial last Tuesday. I totally understand it's a city place. I totally respect that. But I mean, if you left there for almost 10 months, you know, you know, a year is two months away. The memorial had been up since June, and the city said when they started investigating the complaint, they noticed it was attracting graffiti. It's kind of sad to hear that someone complained about it. Um, I live right across the street, and it never has bothered me. Lizette Ledesma walked by the memorial often. She thinks the city should be focused on other things. They need to put more attention on things that really matter, more than the sidewalk decoration or for example if they don't cut the grass like really I'm sorry but it doesn't make sense. The city released this statement. We understand families desire to have a place to grieve and remember their loved ones. However, if they are impeding in the public right of way, growing in size, generating complaints or attracting graffiti or gang activity, we will follow the removal policy and clear them. I would love to find a way to maybe get a permission from the city, you know, to uh, have something even small. In San Jose, Lauren Martinez, ABC 7 News.